I'm drinking my water and I'm dropping knowledge, man. The term barbecue as we know it here in America comes from a Caribbean term. So don't get it twisted. Basting, basting, sauces, spices, everything. It comes from a Caribbean tribe called the Taino. Check it out, we out here in the valley. One matter track stage, bro. Whether you in Timbuk 1 or Timbuk 2, we gonna find you the best food. Shit. You know what I mean? You never lying. We pulling up on a spot that has no idea that we pulling up on them. But they gonna find out once we put in an order that's 20 times double what they used to. They gonna know we really do this eating thing. And we gonna take y'all with us. I don't, I don't partially eat. Well, Matt are gonna talk about how to get y'all producers the major label placements, major artist placements, and more. So stay tuned when it's next to the show. Well, that's a boxing gym right here. If you ever thought you could do something, <laughs> now's a chance to do it. <laughs> Nobody in there is eating that. <laughs> they trainers gonna kick their ass. What did I tell you, Sam? We gonna see what the plates is hitting for. Swinging door, Texas barbecue. Right next to the shell gas station. You might have to park in the shell gassy so they yeah, know it's man, real. Not playing. Yes, sir. Hey, they passed the smell test off rip. Inside, look. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ambiance check. Ambiance check. Yeah. They're coming to us. This is the inside look, y'all. It looks amazing in here. I wish I didn't have a mask because it smells so good. That's like, no. But you got that ready for the soda right next to there. And you got to do it yourself. You got to put the work in. They're cutting all the work in the kitchen. It's up to you to get your drink on. This is the one. And you can see that they've been changing the pricing, so that's how you know it's real. Oh, you just going up. But this is the one. How you doing? I want the cornbread for sure. It's not about what I want though, it's about what I need. And you had told me before. Look at the presentation, bro. It's like, did you see me Yeah, I want everything. I trust you guys. Mac and cheese, for sure. They got the whole wazoo. Ambiance on point. Tell us what you're grateful for, thankful for in the comments. The walk of the fresh ribs, pork, everything non-vegan hits you right when you walk up. Oh, this is a real place. We got a gas station right here. I'm about to fuel up. What's that mom and pop doing, bro? They've been watching Memphis channels for years. They probably, they probably come from Memphis. Who knows? I'm ready to chow down, man. Garlic, herb, mashed potatoes, schla, ziki power. Right off the rip, I want to tell you guys, I'm going with the sausage high link, old school, with just the bread, nothing on it. Stay eating, bro, and myself. <laughs> we love it. We love what we do. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, the waiting time. Food about to pull up though. I'm drinking my water and I'm dropping knowledge, man. The term barbecue as we know it here in America comes from a Caribbean term. So don't get it twisted. Basting, basting, sauces, spices, everything. It comes from a Caribbean tribe called the Taino. And it was their version of grilling above. So putting the meat on top and having the smoke come up and season everything before and after. It's the How you doing? Oh, perfect. Wow. Thank you. Guess, no, 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 no. You do the wazoo. And this is a stand-up breakdown, the bust down. That doesn't always happen. But when they bring you a leaning tower of pizza full of barbecue, you gotta go crazy. I'm seeing two of these open up. Look at that garlic bread, bro. Sheesh, the cornbread. The cornbread too. The full wazoo. Back to back. That's a happy family right there. Stay bro. together. Steam. I gotta do it like this. I can't even lie to you. That with the sauce about to go crazy. That's how much I do know. They gave us a dictionary width of that, so you know it's about to go down. Look at that, y'all. Keep in mind, this was steaming when it came out. It's going to be steaming until it goes down. And when I say goes down, it goes down where it needs to go down. It goes down in the DMs, but it also goes down in the digestive system. First bite can. Look at that. Right for the napkin, so you know it's real. How them sauces hitting, the spices kicking. That shit wrong. Speechless. Transform into a goddamn eater bot. Sheesh. How does this work, my brother? I am not well versed in this. Like, how long do you usually cook stuff? Ooh. Well, it really depends. Oh my goodness. These guys take about 11, 12 hours. Somewhere wow. There. And what about below the ribs? Those uh, look amazing. It's about five, to six hours. Wow. How many ribs do you think you guys go through on like a busy day? <laughs> About 50. 50? Yeah. Dang. 
we've got more down there. How many pounds do you think of like the top briskets that you guys would go to? Uh, in a busy day, I, I would say about like 60, 70 pounds. Damn. Yeah, 60 to 70 pounds on a busy day. They are cooking. Ribs, bro, those look so beautiful. If y'all can smell through the camera, you'd be hyped. That's amazing. Look at this, y'all. Behind the scenes, Staten Bro exclusive. Can you tell me a key seasoning or is it all a secret? No, no it's, it's pretty uh, basic. It's just like salt, black pepper, uh, granulate, garlic, and granulate onion. That's about it. Wow. Uh, I think the key is like this part right here. Got it. Yeah. That and the time, how long right, you keep it right, in there. Right. Wow, that looks amazing. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, Matic, which one are you going for, man? This is a big battle. Oh, oh. Boom. Donzo. I'm going garlic. Then roll that in. That. Mm. First bite can. Ten. Too Most. sweet, not too sweet. Corn. We'll try the middle. Okay. Try right, taste. Fire. You want a piece? Huh? It's good. Good. Uh, I was going to give Amazon Prime a little Amazon Prime piece. But. This food it. looks amazing, bro. Oh my goodness. What did you just unveil, sir? These beans. Big beans. Full wazoo. Y'all oh, see that? Falling off the wild, wild. Literally falling off the wazoo. So crisp, tender. Definitely not vegan. No. That's all right. I don't think we're going to do vegan. What mm. is, mm. Oh my God, try that. Brother, here we go. Clean by itself. Dip in sauce. Oh my goodness. Heavily. Oh my God, falls right apart. So tender. We got drip. Hey man, it's time to go to Wicks. Oh yeah, this is so fire as is. I don't want to add anything. I want to keep it as it is. It's a stock rim. I ain't trying to put no spinners on this, bro. It's one of them ones. This right here, yo, incredible. Everything I've had so far, amazing. I got to dunk in the sauce, man. And then roll with that. Got to do that. Oh yeah. Through the bone. To the this bone. This right here, man, delicious, bro. Fire. I was hoping the beans would be a little bit more sweet. They're very savory. Cornbread is the perfect balance of real corn, not too sweet, still a pungent flavor, a little bit more. If you skip out on cornbread, bro, you skipped out on a lot of things in your childhood, bro. Get the cornbread in your life, man. He's oh, links, son. Celebration. Goodness gracious. Some of y'all got Cuban links on your necks. I got them links in the sandy. These are spicy. These got a little kick. Amazing amount of seasoning to it. Glistening bread on top. You can't go wrong with this one, bro. Even if you're against glizzies, man, get this. Hmm. Pickled herbs in there, too. Fire. Stay eating here, bro. You're going to stay asleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no kizzy. Look at that. Juicy. I'm going to give y'all the inside scoop, literally. That smack and please is a must. You see the consistency on point two. Steaming. Yep. Oh my goodness. Crisp cheese. Oh yeah, that's shareable. There'll be a little more sauce and seasoning in it, honestly. But it's a great consistency. And the cheese is fresh and sharp. Pro tip right here. Take those, dip it in here, smack. Garlic herb mashed potatoes, y'all. Look at that. Ooh -wee right off the bone. The sauce will absolutely help out, add some more spice and kick to it, but it's tender and buttery as is. Romatic. Talk to me, man. For producers coming up, how do you get a major placement with a major artist or a label? Truthfully, there's no right or wrong way. I would say the best way, man, is be around it all the time, man. You want to be around it all the time, man. And what I mean by that is, immerse yourself into it man like i was in the studio all the time in my house but nobody was listening to my music like you know what i mean i was in the house all the homies liking my shit intern at atlantic record studios good relationships with everybody get out there pretty much you know what i mean and, and you gotta do shit you don't want to do put your ego to the sky learn the business everybody's situation different man you know but i was like stacking up recorders with a gang of people like hitting a gang of people oh recorders. my oh. goodness <laughs> What? Those are the pork ribs. Holy <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> My brother. Hey, 
man, he just, that's how you get to the ribs, I tell you that. That fucked me up. Shout out Superstar C. I love you to death, Grammy Award winning uh, vocalist. This is all in the same month though, by the way. Everything, Two Chains, uh, Placement, Rally Ski, and Sada Baby. Atlantic Records, Def Jam, Asylum. Thank you. Thank you to the artists. Thank you to Dallas. Thank you to Hawk. Thank you to everyone that's been believing. Straight up. Yeah, uh, let me just show y'all the pull factor. The drip factor. It's delicious. Man. You can't go wrong with anything like this, bro. Look, it's already falling apart. What's your favorite, bro? From this whole plethora of food. Thank you a lot, man. That sausage sandwich was the one. I'm rocking with the ribs, which are gone. And the pulled pork was fire oh, that's too. Nice little pork. Very tender. The scale goes to 9.9. Never seen it in my life. I still go 8.5 though. I don't want to waste any rib ever as a black man. I mean, it goes, you want to take your black card away, don't finish your rib. I ain't a lot of the sauce though. Do I see it up like that on there, man? It's a drug deal. I'll give it an 8. They're going to feed you here. All right, y'all. It's official. Tag me when you see it. Tag me when you eat it. If you see this, it's worth a stop, bro. Womatic, you know, the guest of honor does the honors. That means he chooses the spot to, to let him know. Top shelf, baby. Tag me when you see it, tag me when you eat it. Tag me. You did? <laughs> it's stay eating, bro, approved. It's official. North Hollywood, Burbank area. It's worth it and it's a hidden gem, man. Tap in.